Did you know that you can do a Google form with Microsoft Access? Oh, I know, right? I like never thought that would be possible, but I'm gonna show you how. My goal of these videos is always to get you a working solution in your hands. So it may not be exactly, my alarm's going off, real life here, okay. <laughs> It may not be exactly what you're looking for in the end, but what it does is it gets it working where you have it in your hands and you're like, oh my gosh, it works. Now, what do you wanna do with it? It's your creativity and your ideas to take it from there. So what we're gonna do here, 10 steps. I'm gonna make it as easy as possible for you. So stay with me, okay? I'm gonna go through the 10 steps super fast and then we're gonna actually do the 10 steps together. So number one, we're just gonna set up a loopback redirect URL and we'll start your local server. So that's like running in the background. And then we're gonna create a new project in Google Cloud Console. We'll create your Google form. Then we're gonna move into access and we'll put some code in there. We'll get the API key. We'll update your access code with that API key. We'll create a function. We'll update the VBA with the sheet ID from the Google Sheet and Google Form. And then we're gonna make sure that Google Sheet is available to everyone with the link. I'll explain more about that. And you're gonna create a table and access to house that information from the Google Sheet. And you're gonna import the JSON converter code. And then you're gonna run a function, which will then take all the data from the Google Form and Sheet and bring it into access for you loopback redirect URL. So to do this, the first step we're gonna do is on your computer in a web browser, just go to localhost 8080. Most of you will end up getting a message, something like this, that the site can't be reached, um, can't get a connection. If you get that, that lets you know that you have to follow these next steps to set it up. Um, now, if you are not getting that message and you have a connection in use, that's a different video, a different troubleshooting. Um, so what we're doing here is if you don't already have some type of loopback redirect URL, these are the steps you're gonna do. If you already use one and you have one, you can skip the step um, and skip ahead in the video. So to get that set up, we're gonna go ahead and create a folder. Uh, we're just gonna use the C drive temp server only so we can be consistent when we're troubleshooting. Um, obviously we don't want someone actually accessing our C drive on that um, folder, but this is just for testing purposes. So I'm gonna assume that you have Python installed. So I may need to do another video, but you have to have Python installed on your computer. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your command prompt and you're gonna go ahead and change your directory to temp server. Okay, so now we're redirected there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to start the server by running this command. Again, you're going to have to have Python installed on your computer in order to do this. Otherwise, your command prompts will not know what that means. So we're going to go ahead and just paste that in. Um, so you change the directory and you're going to paste that in and hit enter. And it's letting you know that it now has a connection. And so now if I refresh this, it now knows that that actually is the loopback URL. For the next part, we're gonna set up your project in Google Cloud Console. So the first thing that you need is you do need a Gmail account. So either go ahead and create one now or use an existing one. And then you're gonna go to the Google Cloud Console website and go ahead and log in. And that loopback URL that we just created, we are gonna reference that. So it's good that you did that. Um, so let's get started and let's create your project. So I'm assuming you've already logged in to Google Cloud Console. It's asked you some questions to set up some preliminary information like your organization name, your email. So once you're on the dashboard page, you're gonna to go to the very top and you're gonna click this box here. If you have any projects set up, you're gonna have a listing of your projects. Obviously you will not because you just start it, unless you did this before. Then you're gonna go in the upper right hand corner and click new project. So the first thing we're gonna do is give our project a name. So I'm just gonna call mine YouTube testing. 
and my organization name by default will be whatever I set up when I created my account. And I'm gonna go ahead and click Create and just give it a moment while it creates your project. Okay, once it's created, click Select Project. Okay, now it's viewing it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in APIs and Services and we're gonna go to Credentials and we just move this out of the way. All right, and then click Create Credentials and you're gonna create zero auth client ID. Did I say zero? Oh, you know what I meant. <laughs> All right, click Configure Consent Screen. We're gonna do internal, meaning it's only internal to our Google account. Um, if you decided to make an app that was open to external users, you would do external. This video, again, is just to get you to get this working on your side, so we're only gonna do internal. So go ahead and click Create. I'm gonna give my app a name. I'll give it the same YouTube, uh, whoops, if I could spell, YouTube testing. And then go ahead and select a user support email, and then you also have to do a developer contact email. Okay, so now click add or remove scopes. And what we have to do is we have to make sure that our scope is enabled that we need. And so to do that, we first go to the Google app library where the link is right here. And you're gonna search for Google Sheets. And go ahead and click on that. And you wanna make sure it's enabled. So click enable. Now that that is enabled, we can go back into the menu that we were at where it says credentials. And let's go back to create our credentials. And it's gonna be a web application and go ahead and give it a name. I'm just gonna keep calling this YouTube testing. And now our redirect URL, that's where we can add the URL that we created. And it does need to be exactly as written here. And go ahead and click Create. Oh, we also need our Google Drive API. Okay, so we are gonna go back to Enable APIs, Enable APIs and Services, and then you're gonna search for Drive and make sure it's the Google Drive API and go ahead and enable that as well. Okay, now we're gonna create our Google form. So go ahead and create a blank Google form and we're gonna create a Google form just so I can enter my YouTube videos. I'm gonna have a title, I'm gonna have a link and then I'll just have a test column for yes or no. So let's just name it TBL videos and my first question is gonna end up being a short answer, which will be video title. And then we'll add another one, which will be video link. And one other one, which will just be test column. And that will be a short answer. Okay, now that you have this, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna link it to sheets and you're gonna create a brand new spreadsheet and I'm just gonna call it TBL videos and go ahead and click create and it creates that Google sheet for you. We will end up coming back to here um, to reference this Google sheet ID here because we'll have to plug that into the VBA code which I'll show you. And just for consistency, go ahead and rename this to TBL videos just so you know, in Access, it, it's viewed as that, and the Google Sheet, it's viewed as that. Okay, then if you go back to your Google Form, just to show you how this works, you can go ahead and send it. Um, let's say we wanna get the link, right? So let's say we copy the link and we pretend to send it to someone. They can then get this link and go right here, and then just, I'm just gonna put nonsense in here and hit submit just so that you can see it does in fact, you know, fill in the Google Sheet. Okay, so we got the form connected to the Google Sheet. Now let's connect it to Access. Okay, the code is included in the YouTube comments, so you can copy and paste this. Here's the thing, sometimes when this code gets a little tricky or long, it is best to 
purchase our file on Etsy. I am trying my best to make sure everything's always low cost and affordable. Um, for this video, it'll be two US dollars, but you don't have to purchase it. You can use all the code in the comments, but again, if you just want to spend the $2 and get the file and you know it works, you can do that as well. Okay, so now we're gonna copy the code from the YouTube comments. So the first thing you're gonna do is create a module with the name Google OAuth with Loopback. The name's in the YouTube comments, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so go ahead and give it that name and then paste all this code in here. Um, you'll see the JSON converter, we'll get to that in a moment. So what we have to do is we have to get an API key. So if you've seen the VBA code, um, there is information here that we're gonna end up replacing. So go back to Google Cloud Console and you're gonna be in credentials and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna say create credentials, but this time do an API key. It's creating the API key for you. And go ahead and copy that key and we're gonna plug that right into the VBA code. So go ahead and save that. And then we have one other place to update. So we're gonna create a brand new module and you're gonna copy this code into your brand new module. And where it says sheet ID, what you wanna do is you wanna get the ID from the Google Sheet. Just an FYI, I realized that I used the wrong sheet. I had like manually created a sheet versus through Google Forms, so. Anyhow, it's supposed to look like this with the purple. Go back to the Google Sheet I created. You'll see in the path, it has this ID in it. You're gonna go ahead and copy it. And then in your code, go ahead and paste it there. And so go ahead and save. So there are a lot of different ways that you can configure the security between the interaction of Google Forms and Access. The way I'm gonna show you is just the easiest way to get it in your hands and working. It is not the secure recommended way. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna show you through a web API key and a Google Sheet that's available to anyone with a link, how to get that to work. Now, there's so many different security settings that you can go through with Google. This is not that video. You can restrict the IP address, so only certain people with certain IP address can access it. Uh, you can use the secret code that's available through the app on which it's assigned. So this is not that video to go through the security options. This is just to get it working in your hands. So you're just gonna click share and instead of restrict it, you're gonna make it available to anyone with the link and done. Easiest way to create your table is just open your Google Sheet and you're gonna download it as an Excel. And then once you download it as an Excel, just go ahead and import it into your access file. On to the next. Now we need the JSON converter code in VBA for our access file. This code I cannot copy and paste onto the YouTube comments because it is not my code. So I'm gonna direct you how to get it. So if, and I will include this link in here. So if you go to GitHub and you download the VBA JSON from Tim Hall, um, and please do consider if I scroll down, you can become a patron or like maybe, you know, as we say, buy someone a cup of coffee, kind of just to say thank you um, for the code. To download it, click code and just click download zip. When you do that, it's gonna download you a zip file. Inside the folder, there's a specs folder and in there is a Excel file. And if you open up that Excel file and you look in the Visual Basic code, you're gonna see a module called JSON Converter. We need this module to be imported into an access file. So the access file that has the VBA code we were just looking at, um, and I'll open this up side by side. You see this module, we need the module from the Excel import it into access. Um, so you can either copy and paste and bring it in or if you wanna import it. Look what I can do. That's right. 
I can use a Google form with access. Woohoo! How to use a Google form with access. And let's see it in access. Do, 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 do. Yay! All right, how can you do that? All right, so all I did was in module one, we play this function. I just happen to put that function um, in connection to that button. That's it. So if I want it to, just delete this out. I can just come here and run that and it does the exact same thing. I just put it in a form. But isn't that so cool? So I'm hoping that you take this and you just have so much fun with it um, because it's, you know, bringing Google and Microsoft together and seeing what's possible. The sky's the limit in... Wee! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>